Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm not feeling so good, so I'm gonna make this a quick one. But before I dive in, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Blockchain Gavin, like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so that you do not miss projects that I'm talking about in the future. All right, so first off, before we dive into the projects, OpenSea volume is still going insane. Board Ape Yacht Club is about to hit 128th floor. Azuki was up to 12.5 Ethereum today, which is absolutely nuts. And if we head over to OpenSea's Dune Analytics, you can see that volume is not slowing down. We're still hitting 200 to 220 million dollar days. So with that being said, keep in mind that we are at at extreme highs and the market could retrace at any minute. The crypto market is still sitting at about 50% of all time highs, especially with Ethereum and Bitcoin. So with crypto and especially Ethereum sitting at these prices, we're going to see volume continue to skyrocket as not only have the demand for NFTs increased, as well as making it more accessible for a cheaper dollar to Ethereum cost. So with all that being said, it's definitely a great time to be in the NFT space. If anything, it is the best time when we're seeing crypto at these prices, because we're just going to see Ethereum's pump harder and harder. And what that means is you're going to be able to stack up your Ethereum bags now or your tokens and by the time that Ethereum goes up to all-time highs or surpasses that, the Ethereum that you're holding now and building up is going to be a lot more valuable down the road. So the first project that I want to bring to your guys' attention is going to be called Tsuki. I think that's how you pronounce it, Tsuki NFT. So this one only has about seven tweets. It's been absolutely blowing up. Obviously, they're following along with the current anime trend after seeing Azuki, like I said, nearly hitting a 13 Ethereum floor today. So we're definitely going to see these anime collections keep pumping going into February. So you definitely want to make sure that you're looking at these collections and taking them seriously and maybe even prioritizing them over over other types of collections. So we can take a look at their artist and we can directly go into the media and see his type of artwork. I think for the trend and considering his artwork, this looks really good and it's probably gonna do quite well. If we hop over into their sneak peeks on Discord, they only have one at the moment. It's got a significant amount of reactions. So like I said, this is a fairly new project. I definitely follow them on Twitter and hop in their Discord, try to get whitelisted on this if you can, if you vibe with the artwork, because this could be another banger in the anime trend. The next project we have is called Skyverse NFT. There's gonna be 5,000 of these unique Skylands going into the metaverse. So alongside the anime trend, these land-based metaverse projects are definitely still within the trend, especially after seeing Metro pretty much do a 20x return on investment plus the daily yields. So these projects are definitely still in play. And these projects are the projects that I'm also looking at to get in as well. So this is another brand new project. I believe they have just opened their Discord or they're opening it tomorrow. But either way, we can go into their media and check out some of their sneak peeks and get a feel for the style of art. So like I said, they're going to be these land-based NFTs, but they're going to be in the sky as it is called Skyverse. I do think that these look pretty good. They look pretty cartoony. 2D cartoon looking type characters are also doing very well right now, such is alien friends, crypto mores, cool pets, cool cats, you know, all those types of things. Cool pets just launched today. Already has a three Ethereum floor. So this kind of mashes up both trends with the 2D cartoony style look while also being a land-based metaverse play. So we can scroll down and take a look at some other ones. I do think that these look really clean. They look really good. So this is definitely another project that I would keep an eye on. Follow them on Twitter. Turn on those post notifications as you definitely want to know when they drop their Discord to increase your chances of getting whitelisted before anyone else. All right, so following along with the anime trend again, we have Project Ririsu. So so this is going to be a collection of 5.5k, which I think is great because if we look at something like Lives of Asuna, which had a 10k collection and nearly hit a three Ethereum floor price, if this project does well, if they make art that people like and they make themselves wanted by the community, they're probably going to see something similar, assuming that they don't launch too late into the trend. So we can hop over to their Discord and check some of their sneak peeks there. Their engagement is all right. It's nothing crazy. The chat does seem pretty active. They aren't adding everyone on all the sneak peeks. So I think if they did that, we would probably see at least a 25 to 40% increase on the reaction within here. But like I said, this is a pretty new project. So you can see that the sneak peeks and the engagement is bumping up significantly. These are pretty much double than the other ones. So they currently have about 33K in there. I think they have a website up. Yes. So we can go to ririsu.io. Uh, okay. So it's just a coming soon page. So like I said, a lot of these projects, they're very new. A lot of them don't have websites. Some of them don't even have discords yet, but considering this type of artwork for this trend, I think that this project has a lot of potential to do well. So definitely check this project out, hop on their Twitter, maybe give them a follow, hop on their discord and see if you can get whitelisted on this project. So the next project that I want to talk about is called Everseed. I actually found these guys when they had about 1K following a couple days ago. And the fact that they are almost already at 15K followers speaks for itself. So it says that they are going to be the next gen MMO launching in quarter three of this year, 2022. So this project is by the studio called Amihan. And it says that it is a new game studio founded by industry vets from Riot Games. So basically a bunch of the developers behind this project were previously at Riot Games, which if you don't know Riot Games, League of Legends, one of, if not the biggest MOBA games in the world. Personally, one of my favorite video games that I've ever played. They just opened up their Discord and they do have a website at everseed.com. But again, it is just a coming soon website. I think that you can register. So yeah, I can register for updates. You can find out a little bit more on the website. You can also do that in their Discord, but you get a feel of what the style of the project is going to be in the artwork behind it. So this is a project that I would definitely keep an eye on. I'm personally going to try and get whitelisted on this 
just because the team behind it has a lot of experience. I think that they could probably make something really good. And this is definitely gonna be one of those projects that you just wanna secure a whitelist spot on in case it happens to take off. And like I said, I followed these guys just a few days ago when they had 1,000 followers. They're already at nearly 15,000, so they're gaining a lot of traction fast. So I would definitely make sure that you're checking out this project. And again, if you can, go for that whitelist spot. And one other thing I forgot to mention about Everseed, I believe that they are going to be on the Soul blockchain, but there have been a lot of talk circulating that OpenSea is gonna allow Soul projects on their platform. And I would assume once Coinbase NFT officially launches, they will probably follow suit. So keep that in mind, but I'm not seeing this as a deterrent. I personally don't really buy and sell Soul projects, but if Soul is gonna be integrated on OpenSea, then why not, especially if you're not gonna have to pay absurd gas prices. All right, so the last project that I wanna bring to your guys' attention is called Phantom Network. This is the same team behind Project NanoPass, which as we know, did fairly well. I believe they are sitting at a 1.9 Ethereum floor last I checked, but this project is completely new. There's no website, there's no Discord, and if it's anything like what the NanoPass team did for Project NanoPass, this is probably gonna be another project that explodes. So definitely give these guys a follow on Twitter and turn on those post notifications for when they do drop their Discord. So that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Again, we're seeing OpenSea volume absolutely fly. I believe just a month ago, uh, Board Ape Yacht Club was sitting at about a 60 Ethereum floor price. We've nearly doubled that. Azuki is floating between 12 and 13 ETH. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you found some hidden gems. Hope you found something valuable. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Blockchain Gavin. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.